Wellness Wednesday is brought to you by Adventist Health. Welcome back on this Wellness Wednesday. I'm Kiyoshi Shichimono with Adventist Health and Blue Zones Project Bakersfield. And we are back, uh, actually on the road today, yeah. uh, back uh, at the Edible Schoolyard, Kern County's Buena Vista campus. Beautiful campus here. We're in their teaching kitchen mm -hmm. with Chef Matt from Morrison uh, Healthcare and Dr. Benjamin Ha with Kaiser Permanente. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so Dr. Ha, talk to us through. We're going to be making a recipe here. Actually, Matt, you can explain what we're actually <laughs> cooking first. But right. we want to talk about some of the nutritional value of all these plants because I know you love plant-based diets and, and you really recommend that for your patients too, yeah, right? Yeah, I love, I love turnips because they are considered a starchy vegetable, but compared to potatoes, they're a little bit lower in calories, and the density is, is really good. So it's almost a good replacement for potatoes. Okay. So you still get that starchy flavor, like yes. you're eating potatoes, but you're not getting as much like sugar. Absolutely. Like a sugar rush. So kind of, and when we talk about uh, some of the, I'm sorry, keep going, sorry. Chef Matt, <laughs> as you're cooking, um, when you're eating some of the starches, right, it, they talk about the glycemic, right, and how it like peaks your sugar, and yeah. some, some starches are better than others, right, in terms of not making your sugar go crazy, right? I, mean, I think if you can keep Keep um, your intake of, or I'm sorry, if you can increase your intake of non-starchy vegetables, uh -huh. things like things like uh, um, you know, dark leafy greens um, or broccoli, that should be the bulk of your vegetable intake. The starchy vegetables are still beneficial, still healthy, but maybe in moderation. In moderation. Okay. So, Chef Matt. All right. What are we making here? So we're what we're making say is we're making glazed turnips uh, with. We're using the turnip tops, so again, okay. we're using the whole plant. We're not, we want to throw away as little as possible. Uh, so we have these turnips right here. These are baby turnips. You can also use Harake turnips, uh, which are Japanese turnip, which is really mild in flavor. You get the big turnips, yes, it's going to be a much more robust flavor. These are nice and gentle. Uh, so we're using the tops in here right now. We've added a little bit of butter, a little bit of sugar, and a little bit of water. So we cooked the turnips for about 15 minutes before we got here. Um, and so they're in here now. We added a little more butter, a little more sugar. And again, these tops, you can see they're wilting really quickly. That's yep. all we want to do. They'll melt down, essentially. Yes. And, and these turnips, use the whole plant as well. Yeah, that's, yeah. that is pretty amazing. The, the, the turnip, when I always think turnips, I don't always think, they look like potatoes. Yes. It's interesting. Mm -hmm. But they have a much more flavor to them. They're okay. great. Uh, a touch of bitterness, and, and don't think of bitter as a bad thing in this regard. Think of it as like flavorful bitter. So. Okay. Excellent. And, you know, when we're talking about blue zones, of course, these are the places around the world where people live to be 100 plus, and, and Okinawa, Japan is one of those places. Um, and they eat a lot of, like, starches like this. Mm -hmm. And part of one of their principles, right, we talk about blue zones and why people live to be 100 and they get this longevity is they, they stop, they call it harihachibu, which is a, a principle, stop when you're 80% full, right, mm -hmm. Dr. Ha? Uh, because a lot of people, especially in the American diet, tend to eat too much food, right? Well, I think we tend to eat really quickly uh -huh. in America. So we tend to eat more than we think we're going to eat, and then our body doesn't have a chance to tell us that we're full. So eating to about 80% full and slowing down would be what I would suggest. Okay, enjoy yeah. your food. Yeah, <laughs> no, just grind it in. <laughs> so we've added sugar snap peas, and these are from my garden here, and they're wonderful. I love these. It's going to give it that nice crunch. Do not overcook these. So again, only about 30 seconds in the pan, okay. and they're done. Just warm them through a little bit. Give them a quick toss. And the color's so, amazing. Yeah. The color's great, and if you look at, at the turnips, that butter and that sugar creates that wonderful glaze. Uh -huh. um, again, you know, we always talk about sneaking in vegetables a little bit for your kids. Don't add a lot of butter and sugar, that, that's bad. <laughs> but a little right. bit, it's going to sweeten it up just a little bit, give it that little more mouthfeel that their kids are really going to like. And we're at, again, at the Edible Schoolyard. Mm -hmm. We're in their teaching kitchen where they bring kids uh, from across the street at the school over here. The whole idea is to cook with your kids if you can as well. Obviously, hot pans and knives and stuff like yes. that. Monitor them. but. Um, um, cook with your kids because they get kind of invested in, in the recipe along with you. A, it's fun, and B, you'll get them to try things. So that's been my experience as a dad, is when you uh, get the kids to cook with you, they'll, they're willing to at least try it um, before they, before they uh, melt down. <laughs> and there we go. So Beautiful. Give this a shot. We're going to finish with just a little bit of sea salt. Um, if you can, buy some good salt to finish with. Good salt. Okay, I'll let Dr. Howe, do you want to give the honors here? Uh, sure. Okay, yeah. I'll give you the blue plate special here. Yeah. Um, quick recipe, and it only took us about three minutes, two minutes here. Exactly, prepare. yeah, 15 minutes to cook the turnips, but then after that, everything's quick, and you can actually pre-cook those like we did, um, you know, the day before if you're doing a bunch of meal prep. Then that next day, they're ready to go throw a pan for everything else in easy dinner. Yeah, so. excellent. Flavor is excellent. All right. Awesome. Dr. Ha, Matt, thank you guys so much. Thank you. Uh, the recipe's on KGET.com. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back.